Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Smash Brothers Brawl playthrough. We're continuing on with more of the All-Star mode, and today we're actually going to be using our good friend from the NES era, Rob the Robot, aka the Robotic Operating Buddy. And we're going to give him a nice gold finish too, so let's go ahead and use Rob and see if we can make it to the very end of All-Star without wasting a continue this time. Because honestly, I thought I did pretty well last time. It's just I had that death on Snake stage, which pretty much prevented me from getting the no continue bonus. That's also why I went ahead and picked uh, normal mode again as opposed to uh, hard mode like I said I would. Because again, I'm not really super accustomed to using Rob as a character, so... Just to be safe, I went ahead and went the uh, uh, normal route again. But after this, I should be able to use hard with all the rest of the characters, so that'll be fine. Ready, go! But, um, oh god, Mushroomy Kingdom. I, I, I hate getting this stage. Again, it's, it's not a stage that's good for fighting, it's just not. Wow, I missed all of them. Both of them. Oh my god, let me freaking kill you. This is not a great start with Rob. I already have 60 damage. And I wanted to wait till like after the Zelda stage before I used my first thing, which I might still be able to. Oh my god. Ugh. Can you land on my sword? There we go, my god. So yeah, to unlock Rob in Smash Bros, uh, obviously you can get him through the subspace emissary like every character. Uh, you can also play 160 brawl matches. Which, uh... Seems like a lot, but it's really not that much. Especially if you think about Melee, and how Mr. Game & Watch required a thousand, so it's really not that bad. But yeah, like 200 and fi or 160 is the magic number for Rob. Which is actually weird, because Mr. Game & Watch is the highest character with that. And you have to play 250 to get him. And I thought, like... Oh man, he actually, his barrel actually got loose and was getting ready to hit me. Thank god I moved. But yeah, like... Uh, actually, wait, no. Never mind, I, I got it wrong. Okay, 450 is the biggest number of matches you have to play to get all the characters. And to get once you get 450, that's how you unlock Wolf, so... But uh, I want to say... Uh, I want to say Mr. Game & Watch is probably one of the uh, highest conditions. If I remember correctly. Rob's not really too bad. Crap. Okay, thank god I didn't die. But yeah, I might have to actually use my first healing item after the Rob fight, which is kind of sucky. But ugh, I keep losing my place here. Uh, the last requirement you can use to unlock Rob is by getting 250 trophies, which... At that point, you might as well just use Subspace Emissary, because... It's going to be a while before you get 250 trophies. I don't think I even have 250 trophies yet. So it, do, it does take a while. You know what? I'm going to try it. This was a bad decision. I should have not done this. I really should not have done this. Ready, go! Here we go. Getting freaking Bridge of Elden again. Oh man, he actually could have killed me right there. Oh 
shoot, stupid. No, I used my up smash. Why did that not work? There we go. So this is actually called the diffusion beam. Basically, Rob malfunctions and gets super laser powers. <laughs> That's how I've always defined it anyway. And yeah, I'm definitely going to get health now. For sure. Took so much damage in that fight. Hey, look, Samus. I'm you! <laughs> I got the screw attack. Whee! No wonder you use this all the time. It's awesome. Yay! So, wow, that was a nice side, uh, nice side air. Hooray! Rob's gonna blast off again. Never to be seen in this world. Uh, this has been a weird, weird video so far. Although I did, like, I did the five videos before this video, so like. Basically, I started today doing the Pokemon Trainer video, so naturally, like, I'm probably a little burnt out from playing. Oh, bye, Metagross. Thanks for not helping me. I don't know why I did that. Oh, but that works. God, nice bank shot against the small ledge that was right there. See, again, Rob has the capabilities for being, like, a really dangerous, uh, fighter. I just wouldn't say he's, like, the greatest or best. down here. Can you not fall when you have the hammer? I, think, I thought you definitely could. Oh, whatever. Save me, it's this trophy. How oh, high, Lynn. Oh, I freaking... Sorry, Lynn. Sorry about that. See, what I was trying to do is I was trying to actually get him to, like, get hit so he wouldn't actually be able to do a dodge or something. I just hit him at the wrong time. Which is unfortunate, but it's just the way it goes. Okay, so can I make it all the way to Kirby before I have to use my next healing item? I hope. I hope I can anyway. Also, this song. Good old humor esque of a little dog, even though it's technically the shop theme. And yeah, get away from that freaking chimera.
Can you just... My god! How do these guys keep hitting me so hard? They're children. Given they're children with psychic powers, but still children. Get wrecked. Okay, next we have... Yep, Fire Emblem. This might be pretty simple. They don't have a huge frickin' stage to work with, so... That's always something. Whee! I appreciate the cheering, but I'm not really doing well. I was tempted to try a few other matches before I heal, but I have 149. <laughs> yeah, I better heal. I don't really want to, but this way I can heal like right as I get to the Pokemon Trainer, hopefully. Hopefully the uh, two trios don't weaken me too much. Well, Yoshi definitely didn't weaken me. <laughs> Yoshi just kind of decided to play dead for the most part. Okay, next we have Captain Falcon. Maybe Captain Falcon will actually do the same thing, too. Come on. No. God. My shadow. Ooh, that was close. I could have died. <sighs> Damn, I took way too much damage there, though. Or oh, that stupid F Zero racer. His world! Do, 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 do. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> That's the thing, you can actually KO Sonic pretty easily just because of his weird stage boundaries, but still. You gotta be careful anyway. Okay, Kirby Trio, don't mess me up too much. I wanna say this is a decent stage for Rob, though. Plus, it also helps that both Kirby and Meta Knight are both kind of lightweight characters. Also, get this. Come on, DDD. DDD, show up. There we go. Oh, oh, thank God, there was a Deku Nut right there. That could have given me so much extra damage. So I'm glad that didn't. Okay, now we have the Star Fox Trio. If I can get through here with somewhat minimal damage, I can maybe take on Wario. But if I take too much damage here, I might go ahead and use it before Wario. Again, I'm really only concerned about this because I think there is an achievement for not using a continue. Like, yeah, I'd be using characters I'm better with next time, but I would be also increasing the difficulty, so... Who knows? Oh, this is perfect. 
I didn't take much damage at all here. Might be able to get the quick kill on Fox. <laughs> yep. Nice. Okay, so now I just have to get rid of Wario really quickly, and then I can get my last healing item, and then just uh, kind of breeze through the rest of this. The Pokemon one will probably be kind of intense, but honestly, it is what it is. Also, yay, Ashley's song. Good old girl who lives in the haunted ma- Oh my god, it's Wario. Why is Wario giving me trouble now? Oh, and I'm invincible. Thanks. Ugh! Just getting rid of him as soon as possible. So I can now take my healing item and go. Thank you, game, for being somewhat reasonable here. Now in my normal luck, I would have gotten nothing, and then he would have gotten the invincibility. Which has happened a lot on numerous occasions. Ugh, there we go. Unfortunately, Lucario is going to be the only one. I can even hit him. There we go. Crap. Ugh. Thank you. Now I just have to deal with Charizard. Ooh. Let's see if I can get the fusion beam again. I do. I prepare to die, Charizard! get a hammer too. You'll love a good hammer. Oh, Buneri. Gotta get that Buneri trophy. And last but not least, we have Olimar. So we made it, folks. I think I actually did this a lot faster too. Because I was definitely over 13 minutes with uh, uh, Lucario. Although it probably helped I didn't have to... Uh, I didn't waste a continue, so... That definitely helped. But yeah, there we go. That's going to do it for my first All-Star playthrough. There's the Diffusion Beam trophy. Looks pretty interesting, I guess. And yeah, that's going to do it for good old Robles. So. Now... For my next video, I think I am going to go back to stadium stuff, so I'll probably work on the uh, multi-man stuff, and then maybe uh, maybe boss battles too. And there might be another really random video of just me unlocking stuff, I don't really know for sure yet. But that will be essentially my goal for next time, just to kind of focus on some of that other stuff, I guess. But there's the man of the hour. Good old Rob. Oh, look at all those boxes. They're moving. They're the moving company. Okay, I see how it is. And yep, by clearing All-Star with no continues, you get the Pichu trophy. Why Pichu? I have no idea, but whatever. You get that trophy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time for some other stuff. And then after that, I'll come back to All-Star to finish off the rest of the characters. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.